going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Heretic. And you see it, bloop, the original uh, CD from 96, Shadow of the Serpent Riders. I'm going to start this series here uh, pretty quick. It's an ID software game uh, and GT Interactive as well, along with uh, what Raven software. Get the little Raven software logo. You can't see any of it because my uh, thing keeps clipping out, but that's all right. It's on there. It's there. So I'm going to take the original CD, original Heretic CD. Put it in the CD drive. But we're going to have to use uh, DOSBox to actually install this. I'm going to go ahead and CD in here. I'm going to let her, let her think about herself and load it up here. We need to get into your uh, your computer, like your My Computer, which is what it used to be called. Uh, but you need to get to your CD drive. So to do that, if it doesn't automatically pop up, you're going to have to uh, go into your Start menu here. You can see it popped up right over here. But if you, it's not up. Start menu and then Computer. Type Computer in. Click on it, it'll bring you here. So you got your DVD drive, CD drive. Uh, you're going to have to drag these files onto your computer before you can access them uh, with DOSBox. It has a problem reading the CD drive. I don't know why, but it does. So uh, double-clicking will do nothing, as you can see. Right-click on it, go to open. You're going to uh, copy the whole thing. Uh, we're going to right-click, copy. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to go straight into... Where I've got these things stored is F, my DOS games, F, DOS games. That's where I've got my DOS games stored. Uh, and then I'm just going to new folder. I'm going to name it temp. So I'm going to delete it afterwards. I'm going to here and paste. And that's going to copy everything from the CD. Which it's not huge, but it's not tiny. So it will take a minute to copy it from the CD. Get your phone. Maybe read the manual while you wait. Read the manual here. Let's check this guy out. You're not going to be able to see any of this because if it showed up to the camera, it's going to like flip it out. See, I'm looking at it. Pretty awesome to have the original CD and the manual. I don't know how I got lucky enough to find this. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a CD key on here anywhere. Although Heretic, uh, Heretic 2 actually, I believe, has a CD key of some sort. So that'll be an interesting Shadow of the Serpent Riders. It's really cool. This thing is in very good shape for the... Uh, I should call it jewel case variant. It's in very, very, very good shape. Very lucky to have this. Not that it's a, a crazy rare game or anything, but, you know, it's it's a game I did play quite a bit of. And I really enjoyed it because, you know, all that build engine stuff from back in the day. All right, so we've got all of our files copied over here into our temp folder. I'm just going to leave the CD in the drive. Why not? Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and mount this drive. I'm going to hit my start menu, and I'm going to go into my DOS box, type in DOS box, or just start the application. And I want this guy to be full screen, so hold Alt, press Enter, make it full screen. All right, I can't see myself, but uh, it's full screen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, mount the, what was it, F, F colon slash DOS games slash temp. We're just going to make it F colon slash DOS games. And we're out. We need to do this. Mount C colon F colon slash DOS games, just like this. Uh, hit enter. And we're going to pull up C. Now that's in our DOS games folder, which is we're going to work out of. Uh, we're just going to go into a temp. DIR temp. So that'll show us all of that. And we're going to go to, uh, let's go CD temp. And that'll bring us into that directory temp. You can see it right there. And we're looking to run the uh, installer. So just type in install. And here we go. We're gonna, we want to install into C. And heretic, hit Y, and that's going to install it directly into that DOS games folder. That's our common one. So that's the end of that. Press escape to exit, and now it's going to run the game after it's done installing it. I thought it was running it. It's not. So this may take a little bit, just like Blood did. Blood took a little while. All right, no, maybe not. See the WAD file. The WAD file is the largest file. That's going to have the biggest issue. If there's going to be an issue. But we are installing it from a, an SSD to an SSD. However, because the installer is only going to go as fast as it feels like going. I don't know the reasons behind that. Somebody might be able to explain it, but I cannot. So we're just going to let it do its thing. All right, now that the game has been installed, finally, uh, we can go ahead and uh, decide our controller type. Going to do keyboard and mouse, Sound Blaster. For me, it's going to be a Sound Blaster-based uh, audio card. Uh, 220 is fine. Uh, Sound Blaster again. 
Go ahead and do that. 220 also. IRQ is fine. DMA of one. Number of sounds to mix. I can do all eight. So that's about it for that. Controller type. Keyboard and mouse. Keyboard controller. So just we're going to configure the keyboard. So we're going to make forward W. S. A. Or we don't want to. We don't want to turn. So okay. So we're just actually going to clear that. Can I clear it? Yeah. Hit it and press escape and then you can clear it. Strafe left is going to be A. Right is going to be D. Uh, the inventory is fine because that's the same as in many other games. Use the space. That's fine. Uh, let's see. There's no no jump in here, of course. Uh, let's see. Look. You know, it doesn't matter. Fly, insert, home, and page up. I'm going to need to change fly to something else. Fly is going to have to be something else. Let's make fly that. Let's just do that. That slash there. Or, 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 make fly Z. Z could be fly. Yeah, or Q. Could be Q. Q is upper left. Yeah, let's do Q for fly. Um, and space can just be our use key. I'm not going to mess with that at all. Fire, control, strafe, alt. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. I think that's all I need to do. Uh, F10 to accept, so push that. Uh, we're actually going to go back in here into the mouse control. Left button, move forward. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I can't get rid of it, can I? Man, oh man, oh man, can't get rid of it. No other button uh, selection on here. So I'm going to have to leave that alone. Shape to abort. Can't, you can't actually do that. Oh, I actually can't get out of here now. Oh no. Oh no. I broke it. I broke it. Oh, I broke it, guys. I'm just gonna hit hit enter to accept. I cannot escape. I can't abort this. Can't abort it. Oh man. Okay, so that's a problem. Move forward, right button. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave that there. Yeah, I can't get rid of it. My escape button wouldn't work. That was a little bit buggy. Uh, but anyway, I got that figured out. I guess. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and just go with it. Enter accept. Save parameters. Launch a Reddit. All right, and the game is running. Music's going. Oh man, let's gonna let's just test it. Let's just test it. Just test it. All right, cool. It looks like it's working. Do I have audio? I do have audio. All right, guys. Uh, that's really all there is to setting this game up in DOSBox. If you like what you've seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.